This is a Rotke Mods video. Hello, I'm Greg Rotke of Rotke Mods, and welcome to episode 20 of my Mac Pro series. In this episode, I'm just quickly going to go over why you should upgrade to 8 cores if you're running a 1,1 Mac Pro. Now, I have ran Geekbench on my Mac Pro, and here are the scores. See something majorly different? Now, the original specs aren't too bad still today. In fact, it scored a 5,129 on the multi-core, which actually beats out my first generation i7 laptop by probably two or three hundred points. So it's pretty respectable considering that the laptop itself is a four core and it's like two or three generations newer. But the eight core got a 11,505, which is somewhere between 1,500 and 2,000 points different from a brand new i5 Mac, like a Mac Pro or a Mac Mini. And that's still some pretty good performance for today. In fact, 2,000 points in the grand scheme of things isn't that different. So this thing still performs, and in fact, this score right here is about the same as an earlier i5 Mac. And the only difference is I went from a 5150 pair of Xeons, which equaled out to four cores, to an X3565 at 3 gigahertz, which equals out to 8 cores. Now, even though the original 2.1 Mac Pro didn't come with the 2.66 dual quads, you can still upgrade to those, and you'll still get similar performance. In fact, you'll probably get performance within 1,000 to 500 on my score, which is still pretty good. We'll quickly scroll through this so you can see the major differences. Now, the memory isn't, of course, Mac Pro RAM, and it reads a little differently. Like, it says it's 0 megahertz. It's 667, just like the original, but for some reason the Mac Pro can't read it the speed, but trust me, it still performs well, it's just, it gets lost in translation on Geekbench. When this thing was running 32 gigabytes before it crashed out, because of the memory controller problem. This was actually getting a, a 11777 on the score. In fact, I can show you really quick. There it is, 32 gigabytes. And this one, for some reason, is reading the speed right, but still, they're still running at the same speeds. It's probably because I'm only using one RAM tray. Anyway, this is just a quick video to explain to you why you should upgrade to an 8-core. Thank you for watching, and this has been a Rutke Mods video.